Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today I'll uh, uh, show you a tutorial about how to uh, expose, expose fast API application uh, through uh, Nginx uh, ingress controller um, that runs on Kubernetes. So the long story short, uh, imagine you have a fast API Python application which you put into the container and then you would like to uh, put this container uh, on top of Kubernetes. So you would run it uh, in Kubernetes pod. Uh, pod is a platform uh, which uh, can run one or, or multiple containers. Uh, it's fine, you run it there inside uh, the pod, but uh, how you would um, access it from the outside, from the external world, uh, your fast API application, right? Uh, if you just in development, the quick way you could expose the port uh, of, uh, of the endpoint where fast API uh, app runs, and then you could uh, do testing. You could see if application runs, but this approach is not suitable for production, obviously, because you uh, want to have a pro proper uh, HTTP access uh, to be available, not just exposing a port. Um, so in Kubernetes, you could uh, define uh, load balancer um, uh, service, which could uh, uh, allow external access, uh, but with load balancer, it's a bit tricky to define, um, to map the um, <coughs> path to the certain host. And uh, when you have multiple uh, services, it, it, may, it could be tricky to group them together uh, under the single host. So for that purpose, we have um, uh, controllers, ingress controllers in Kubernetes. Ingress controller uh, could uh, run with different um, uh, HTTP um, Servers basically like uh, traffic or in Jinx or others. Uh, I prefer in Jinx, and uh, that's why in this tutorial I'm, I'm, I'm using it uh, for demo. And what we'll achieve is, is uh, I'll show you how you could define uh, metadata for uh, in Jinx ingress controller uh, with the host, which resolves to uh, fast API application that runs on uh, another Kubernetes pod, and this. Uh, pod, which is represented by deployment, is uh, um, <clears throat> is basically a front end of this uh, pod will be implemented with uh, service, and then this service will be uh, exposed to the outside through Nginx controller. So let's uh, jump to uh, the application and let's see how it works. Uh, the same as before for, for this demo, I'm using um, our open source uh, product for uh, ML uh, workflow implementations, which can be applied not only uh, for ML, for any kind of use cases where you have uh, microservices and you need to orchestrate the microservices and run them in, in, in a certain flow. So the product called Skipper. And <clears throat> we have a list of instructions over there. And today I'll be talking about Kubernetes and I'll focus on one of the uh, services on uh, uh, basically on this engine and uh, we'll talk about uh, this this block fast API implementation where we have uh, API logic uh, which implements certain endpoints and it runs on Docker container then we put this container on Kubernetes pod and then we exposing it uh, through Nginx controller. Okay, so let's jump to the source code and the first hint uh, when you would like to expose fast API application, make sure that uh, you may uh, you, you have you define uh, open API URL and endpoint and uh, docs URL. So like in this example, I have um, API v1 skipper tasks and API v1 skipper tasks. Then uh, it's um, Prefix to if um, open API JSON and docs. So the, this <clears throat> these two parameters allow uh, uh, would allow to access um, uh, fast API UI uh, <clears throat> when application will be deployed. Okay, and <clears throat> if you would not define this. Uh, Two parameters uh, when uh, fast API application will be exposed through the ingress, you would be able to access endpoints, but it would not work to open the UI with um, declarative UI where you would see, have a list of all endpoints. You can do good test the endpoints and so on. 
Okay, and this is about a fast API application. And then I have API pod is being defined, which uh, defines uh, deployment for uh, the pod with fast API application container. Uh, let's see this. So we point to the image where fast API application is being um, uh, packaged. Basically, we provide the name. And then it's important thing we provide container port uh, 8000 here. It can be any port. And so this is this means that port runs on uh, uh, port 8000. And then for, for this port to be accessible from the outside, we need to define the service uh, component, a Kubernetes service component. We refer to deployment skipper API. And we, here we also uh, specify which port will be open, uh, 8000 uh, protocol and target port. And uh, we set default uh, type of the service cluster AP. This means by default, uh, the port and service will be available within the cluster. It will not be available outside by itself. Uh, if you would define it as a load balancer, then um, the port and service will be uh, callable from the outside. But on this layer here, we want to keep it internal and we don't want to expose uh, the pod directly uh, because we will be exposing it for the ingress service, for the ingress controller, sorry. And okay, we have another uh, definition, ingress, and this is where we define the controller. Uh, <clears throat> okay, so... We're using uh, Nginx, so this is where we specify controller type. And then there's a place where you map uh, path for your uh, application, and then you refer to the service. And we refer to the Skipper API service. And if you double check, this is the name of the service over here. So this means this path, um, which we define in, in this ingress resource, would relate to Skipper API service. And uh, this ingress resource would listen on this uh, uh, path. And this is the host uh, that will be accessible. Uh, <clears throat> I'm using Docker Desktop. And when Docker Desktop with Kubernetes support is installed, it automatically updates a host file and it creates default um, host name Kubernetes Docker internal. If you would prefer to use any, uh, your own test uh, host name, you could just update um, uh, host file and then you would include your uh, name here in host uh, property. And obviously, when you will deploy it on cloud, then you could provide a real host name. And this is just for, for testing on the local environment. OK, so this is how ingress controller is defined. Important thing here that for the path, you need to uh, put the same uh, name as you would define in, inside fast API application for open AP URL and docs URL uh, properties. So this is the, the path information you put over here. And then later, when you access application from the browser, uh, you would post a host and you would put this path and uh, it will be um, ingress controller would resolve it and direct traffic through Nginx um, uh, proxy. It would direct traffic to uh, Kubernetes service and Kubernetes service would call the pod which runs fast IP application and produce the response. Okay, so let's um, uh, see how it runs. Okay, and yeah, I have it running already. So let's uh, see this. Um, okay, there is a Docker. Okay, oh, this one. This is the URL referred to the Kubernetes Docker internal uh, host. And this is uh, thing, the thing that we uh, specified in inside uh, ingress um, resource for the path. And then we refer to the docs and we are able to load it. And then if we click try it out, execute, we see that response is successfully returned. And also we could copy the endpoint URL and uh, open the endpoint directly. So it's also working the same response is printed and other endpoints are working too. 
Okay, and the important thing is uh, when you would run uh, uh, Ingress controller either on local or on cloud, uh, before you would build the services uh, and before you would build um, and apply Kubernetes objects, uh, I would recommend not late, not after, but before that, you uh, you, you should install uh, Ingress controller. And depending on what platform you are using, uh, you would install different um, controller. So here in documentation, you have list of um, um, platforms. And for example, I'm using uh, Docker desktop for Mac. So this is the command that you would execute. And then it installs um, controller into your environment. And then you would be able to expose uh, ingress resources through, through that controller. Okay, and yeah, then you would build um, Docker images and next you would run Kubernetes, a set of Kubernetes commands to apply um, and create pod deployments, services, and finally ingress um, controller. Then this is the URL that uh, we're using to test the application, as you saw a few minutes ago. <clears throat> and another thing is, you would like to, we could, we could see the log. So for example, we could, we could double check that the, actually when API is running and we're hitting some endpoints that actually it happens, something really happens on Kubernetes. So first let's, uh, we could enable, we could see the log for the controller, for ingress controller and for uh, the fast API application which runs in the pod. So for those two things. Uh, to get the log for controller, uh, we would need to get the name of um, uh, Nginx controller that was uh, created on our system. This is the one which is running in, in this pod. And as soon as we have the name, we could um, get the uh, list of... Uh, we could get the log actually, right? And I need to copy paste the name of um, of the control of the pod which runs uh, ingress controller, and this is the log. Fine, and let's make it a bit smaller and move it a bit down. Maybe here on the left side. And the next thing, let's open the log for uh, fast API for the pod where fast API application runs. So in a separate window over here, uh, we can see that, <clears throat> and we're using a watch flag, so the log is not closed, and uh, as soon as some action would happen, the new messages would be printed. So let's uh, go back to the uh, API and let's uh, hit execute times and we see that a uh, request is coming uh, to the ingress controller and is being proxied by Nginx to the Kubernetes service. We see the log is printed and if we see the log for um, Kubernetes port where fast app uh, API application is running and uh, we execute our API, we see that log is printed too. This means uh, Nginx ingress controllers uh, uh, operating correctly, it's, it's proxying traffic to the port and port is responding correctly. Okay, so this is the uh, quick tutorial uh, with the key explanation about how to uh, define uh, ingress controller uh, yum file with path and reference to the uh, service, uh, Kubernetes service, which uh, 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 basically directs traffic to uh, the Kubernetes pod, which runs fast API application. Uh, it was a bit tricky to figure out everything, and especially the, the, the most complex part, I think, was to uh, create proper uh, YAML file for the ingress controller, because there are lots of documentation on the internet, but uh, some of the documentation is contradictory, uh, probably because uh, ingress is quite a generic thing and uh, it uh, can be defined differently on different cloud providers and local, depending on which tool you're using, like uh, Minikube, uh, Docker Desktop and so on. But then I managed to find a working solution, was quite excited about it 
and I thought let's um, share it with you so hopefully it will be useful for someone and uh, thanks for watching stay tuned and see you next time bye